interpret dreams? The book of Daniel chapter 1 verse 7 records that Daniel understood all kinds of visions and dreams. In Daniel chapter 2 verse 28, after Nebuchadnezzar had a troubling dream, he ends up summoning Daniel who has a reputation for dream interpretation. The king asks Daniel for the interpretation and Daniel answers him and says, no wise man, enchanter, magician, or diviner can explain to the king the mystery he has asked about. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. And he has shown King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in days to come. The key point to remember is that only God can give us the correct interpretation. Remember now, dreams can be literal, figurative, metaphorical, or allegorical. And there is a difference between us interpreting dreams and Holy Spirit doing the interpreting. I have witnessed many times someone will share a dream that they had and other listeners unfamiliar with dream interpretation will begin to comment with statements that it could mean this or it could mean that. The problem with that is it can bring confusion to the interpretation. Now, this doesn't mean that we're always going to get the interpretation right. And that's okay, because God knows our hearts, and God knows that we're for Him. But what it does mean is that we are to approach every dream interpretation with an attitude of, what do you say, Holy Spirit? Are you speaking to me through this dream, or do you want me to interpret this dream for someone else? Help me to understand and give me the revelation I need to hear your voice. God will help us and bring more understanding over time if we remain teachable and patient. As we learn about dream interpretation, we will make mistakes, but we need to learn from our mistakes and press on. Again, the point is, Holy Spirit is the one that does the interpretation. It's not our thoughts on the subject. Now, it's interesting, but in the book of Daniel, had Daniel given his own interpretation, we would not have the book of Daniel as we know it today because the king would have had him killed. If these old covenant people had the ability to interpret dreams, how much more will Holy Spirit allow us to have and to interpret dreams? We often read the Bible and we think, oh, it was some great man, a woman of God, but surely not me. I could never have a dream from God or interpret a dream from God. But that's not the case because God is no respecter of men. Often it is better if we have someone else interpret our dreams so as not to interpret the dream through our own filters. As I mentioned before, parents, teachers, and others who may have said something against us or against dreaming that may influence our interpretations. Also, in the case of filters, our own minds may lead us astray because of our own preconceived notions as to what the dream may be. For example, we're considering purchasing a car. We've been researching a particular vehicle and have a dream that we're in a new car. That doesn't mean that it's a confirmation, rather it could have been that we were so involved with the process, we took it to bed with us and dreamed of driving one. So if we're honest with God and keep our consciences clear and our hearts at peace with Him, 
then he will reveal wonderful direction and spiritual realities to us in our dreams, which will be a great blessing, not only to us, but to others as well. Interestingly, one reason God speaks to us in dreams is that we're basically helpless to fight his speaking to us. Our busy lives, kids, jobs, etc., take our time and we're often too busy to listen to his voice. And he loves us so much that he will go to great lengths to speak to us. So, how do we know if a dream is from God? The first thing we want to do is jot down some notes as soon as we awaken from the dream. Keep a notepad and a pen next to your bed and record the dream. And then we should write out the dream in its entirety as soon as we wake up in the morning. I know that's hard, but it's really what we need to do. While we're writing out the dream, Holy Spirit may begin speaking to you concerning it. And certainly we are to always pray and ask God if the dream is from him. I dream almost every night, and I've come to the place that I often know in a dream that this is a significant dream for me to record. However, I must still ask Holy Spirit for the interpretation. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2 says, I, I love this verse, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter, and to search out a matter is the glory of kings. So the Lord likes us to seek him out for his interpretation. He likes to draw us to him. If the dream remains vivid through the day and we can't seem to shake it, then it's a good guess that the dream is from God. Interpretations must line up with scripture. As with prophecy, scripture will always confirm the interpretation. How do you feel toward the dream? Were you angry? Were you sad? Were you happy? Uncomfortable? Comfortable? These feelings can give you a good indicator if the dream is from God. You may not know with one dream if it is from God, as he may speak to you from time to time to get the message across to you. And remember, not every dream is from God. But asking someone else to help with the interpretation is very important. It will help to bring, to find out if this is from God or from another source. Mm -hmm.